Hey guys, Beast back. Uh, today we're going to look at the Kawasher brush pants. Um, these are in Tekasafe and these have the X vent on them and we'll kind of explain that as we go. But uh, I'm going to cover a lot of the features. I had these all last year. Um, I had one pair and I kept my standard service Nomex as a backup pair. These have to be not only the most comfortable pair of pants um, that I've owned outside the fire service or not. Uh, Kawasher has done a terrific job with the design of these pants. Uh, a lot of companies will just get the materials to do a standard pants and Kawasher is kind of taking it to the next level and we'll kind of talk about those features today. Starting at the beginning, uh, you've got a melamine button here. Um, I would recommend putting just a dab of super glue on a lot of these buttons. As you can see, they kind of start to fray out. That was the only issue I had with any of the Kawasher gear was just at the buttons. They use a, uh, a mil spec Velcro that is held up very well. It holds just as strong as day one, even after a full year of service. Below that, you've got a locking YKK zipper. If I can bring this in a little bit, I'll kind of show you. Uh, the locking comes from, if I push the zipper foot, it won't move. If I bring the pull tab up, it moves easily. I can stop at any point, lower that pull tab, and I can't move that. Basically means your fly is not going to be popping open all day. Um, you know, it's an easy thing to overlook. It's a great feature. It's high quality, YKK. Not even the Forest Service uses YKK. They use an, an ideal, um, which is subpar uh, to this. This is much more uh, higher quality and just a really nice touch. So the Velcro is a nice feature that helps pull a lot of that um, stress off your button. On the sides here, your belt loops will accommodate a full size uh, sort of riggers belt if you guys want to wear something like that. Uh, there is adjustability in the, uh, the Velcro on the side. Initially I thought maybe because this was a naked Velcro it needed a little bit of fabric reinforcement. Um, I haven't had any issue with it. Uh, you know, it's just the actual Velcro. Um, it is mil spec, so it is very rugged. And um, other than adding to the cost and a little bit of finishing touch, it's really not needed. So it held up well. If you can tell on there, there's a little bit of um, stretch inside the pant. Uh, that stretch is just as good right now as it did a year ago uh, before last fire se season. So as far as wear it is worn extremely well uh, to talk about the tech safe material itself um, i found that it is much softer uh, much more breathable and actually much more comfortable even after the long days uh, you get two pairs of nomex or you know your uniform uh, for a 14 day fire generally around the seven day mark uh, you're changing that out because they're practically standing up on themselves with the sweat and the dirt and everything else that you've been working out there and um, they start to get a little rugged. The Deca Safe seems to hold up a lot better. You could probably wear these for a straight 14 day run and not have to switch if you needed to. They're that comfortable. I've been very impressed with the Deca Safe. It's a mod acrylic and an air mid blend. Uh, look into it if you're uh, required for the standard issue Nomex. Um, it's just a much heavier material. Uh, you know when it's already over 90 degrees that day and you're up on some 90 degree slope. Um, these are extremely warm. Uh, they may hold up just a touch bit better, but I've been very impressed with the uh, the TechSafe's ability to basically be a non-ripstop uh, material. And I'll show you a few little nicks around here over last year that I got in these, and they have not gotten any worse. Uh, the pockets are good size. Um, you know, I've got big hands, and they've got plenty of room for my hands and more. I never lost anything out of them. They hold a knife well. No issues there. Coming into the standard sort of uh, side pocket, here's where you're gonna, you're gonna see the first rip uh, that I received on some metal roofing. Last year doing some structure work. Um, I didn't get a chance to patch that up. It didn't get any bigger. I never lost anything through that hole. And so I've been very impressed with the TechSafe material. I've got a repair kit on, uh, on order uh, to get that fixed before this year's fire season. Uh, the side, again, is a good side side pocket. A lot of companies go overboard with the side and the amount that you can hold in your, basically your side pockets, um, and it's just too much. You know, when you're out hiking around all day, you don't want a lot of weight bouncing around in here. And so I, I actually found it's the perfect size, flashlight, notebook, things of that nature. Fits in there. It's got the same mil spec Velcro on there. Worked extremely well. Coming back to the back pockets, um, same thing, 
a good size, not too big, but not too small. Easily with my giant hands, I can get in there. Uh, typically, I would just carry a bandana or something like that um, in the back pocket, but no issues there. Good size pocket. You're also going to start seeing all the reinforcement that Quasher does at the bottom of the pockets. Just about everything is gets an extra bar tack for durability. Taking a look at the knee area, not only is it double reinforced, but you're going to see this pleating here. Uh, the fabric is folded over, it is tacked, it's folded over and tacked. That's going to give you a lot of range of movement. It's going to be an articulated knee. I've not had a pair of pants um, offer this full range of movement, um, I don't think ever. Uh, they've done a terrific job at designing in a very uh, wide a range of movement to this pants. With that, if you come into the uh, the sort of gusseted crotch, what you're going to notice is all the way up the leg, there's a separate piece of material inserted. The seam is not in the middle, so you have a seamless inseam to your pants all the way up to the crotch. And what that does is not only allow bigger range of movement when you're stepping over large logs and you're making that big leap across the river, um, you're not getting bound up by your pants. The other thing it does is it creates no chafing points on the inside of your legs when you're basically hiking around all day. On the bottom cuff part of the pants, uh, same US mil spec Velcro. Get a nice tight fit on there just so you're not getting all that ash and debris up your pant legs and your legs aren't turning black during mop up. A uh, little bit of wear here at the bottom to be expected, especially when you're you know, clipping on your boots, things like that. There's a little bit of wear down here, as you can tell. But I've been very impressed uh, with how much these have held up, um, even over the standard Nomex. All right, last but not least, uh, why is it called x -Fen? Well, if you see this little piece here, underneath you have a YKK zipper. The zipper allows venting uh, to your thigh area. There's a little bit of tuck and safe material behind it so you're not directly exposing uh, your skin. And then that is just an open area for venting. Uh, any of you guys that's been in the fire service know that if you're on top of a ridge and you get a little bit of wind, you can kind of face into the wind, open your fly, and you'll get a little bit of uh, air conditioning. Um, that's kind of the same principle on here. Uh, I didn't have to use this as much as I thought. If you're going to be running the standard Nomex 3A material, I would highly recommend going with the X-Vent um, through Coasher. If you're going to go and try the Tekasafe material, I really found that it just breathed that much better that I didn't always have to use this. Um, it was nice occasionally, but generally you're just working too hard to remember it to either zip it up or to zip it down. Um, and with the Tekka Safe, I just wasn't overheating as much as I did with the, the Nomex. So it's a great feature. If you're going to go with the Nomex, I would highly recommend the, the X Vent system. If you're going to try the Tekka Safe, you probably don't need the vents. And we'll, uh, we'll discuss that more when we go into the uh, shirt in a later review. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll have links down below. Uh, this has been the Coasher Pants. It is fully certified. And it is the Tekka Safe Plus HRC2. And uh, if you haven't tried Tekka Safe, I highly recommend it. And uh, I highly recommend looking into the Coasher. Just like I said over and over through this video, hands down the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever worn. Thanks for watching, guys.